Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Rustic River Beanie. The Rustic River Beanie is this pattern that you see right here. It is a great textured slouchy kind of hat uh, and it features a variety of stitches for that reason this pattern is uh, graded as an intermediate pattern but hopefully for those stitches that you're having more trouble with uh, this video will help you out a little bit for this pattern you're going to need approximately 1.5 skeins of this beautiful sugar bush canoe yarn and take a look at the texture and the color in there I just absolutely love it. It is a wool blend yarn. It's wool up alpaca and a little bit of nylon. And you're going to need, uh, I guess, about 150 yards of it. It's a bulky weight yarn. So along with it, you're also going to require a eight millimeter crochet hook. And then depending on whether or not you would like to add a pom-pom to the top of your hat, you will need either faux fur or a little extra yarn to make your pop your palm for the top now that we have all of our materials together let's get started for this pattern a free written copy of this pattern can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com i will have the link there for you in the notes of this video while you're there feel free to check out my facebook and other social media as well don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel here where i like to bring you weekly patterns and stitch tutorials so this hat is worked uh, in basically two parts the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the brim of our hat and it is a ribbed brim hat and the way I like to do that is by using a series of slip stitches worked in rows so what we are going to do is we are going to start by making our slip knot after you have made your slip knot you will chain nine stitches one two three four five six seven, eight, nine. Once you have chained nine stitches, you will begin to work slip stitches in the second chain from your hook. So there's my first. And in your second chain from your hook, you'll work your first slip stitch. And then one slip stitch in each stitch all the way to the end. You will have a total of eight slip stitches. You will then chain one and turn. Now working in the back loop only, you will again slip stitch across. To find your back loop, you're going to look at the top of your stitches. Now normally when you worked a stitch, you placed your hook under both of those loops. When you work in the back loop only, you're only going to be working under the loop that is farthest away from you. So you see you have these little V's here up at the top. You're simply going to insert your hook under the back loop only and work a slip stitch. So in the back loop only, work one slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Again, you will have a total of eight slip stitches. At the end of row two, you will chain one and turn. And now you are simply going to repeat row two. So in your first stitch, Working in the back loop only, slip stitch, and repeat in each stitch all the way across. You are going to continue repeating 
that row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 18 inches long. Once you have reached 18 inches, you will stop, do not fasten off, and I will show you how to seam your brim. Okay, so once you have a total of 18 inches worth uh, of stitches, row two worked, it's going to look a little bit like this, and you're going to see that your work has quite a bit of stretch. So it's going to form a nice, snug, flexible brim for your hat. So to join the two ends of your brim, what you're going to do is you're going to take the two short ends and you're going to fold your brim over. Make sure that it's not twisted. You want it to be able to lay flat. You will then chain one and working in the back loop of the piece of fabric that's closest to you and in the back loop of the piece of fabric on the other side you are going to work one slip stitch. So you're working through both thicknesses and you're going to repeat that in each stitch all the way across. So the back loop of the one closest to you, the back loop on the other, slip stitch all the way across. Again, you will have a total of eight stitches. This is going to create a nice little seam and bring these two ends together. go. Once you have come to the end, you're going to take your brim of your hat and you're going to turn it right side out. So you want your seam, which is right here, to be on the inside of your work. You will have the right side now facing out. Now what you will do is we are going to work around this long edge, this long edge, and the rest of the pattern will be worked in rounds. What you're going to do is you're going to chain one and you're evenly going to work 50 half double crochet stitches all the way around your hat. So it might take a little bit of guesswork, but you want these stitches to be fairly even all the way around. Once you come to the beginning, once again, you will join with a slip stitch in the top of the first half double crochet. Once you have worked 50 half double crochet stitches all the way around and you've come back to your first stitch, you will join with a slip stitch just in the top. For round two of the hat, you will chain one and now working in the third loop, you will single crochet all the way around. To find the third loop, you're going to pull your work forward. And if you look at the back of your half double crochet stitch, you will see that you have two horizontal bars. So this is the back of my work. And I have one horizontal bar here and one horizontal bar there. And you can see that on each stitch. To work in the third loop, you are actually going to be working in the second, so the horizontal bar that is under the top one. You're going to be working on that second one down. Okay, so to work a single crochet in the third loop, you're simply going to pick up that horizontal bar with your hook and complete a single crochet stitch. You're going to do that in each stitch around. So continue looking at the back of your work. You see that top horizontal bar there. And the third loop is the one underneath. Just insert your hook and work one single crochet stitch. You are going to do that all the way around your brim or all the way around your hat. And you will see that as you do, if you look at the front of your work, it is actually pushing the top of your stitches forward that give you kind of this knit 
look right here. Okay, so continue working one single crochet in the third loop all the way around. At the end of round two, when you return to your first stitch, you are simply going to join in the top of the first stitch with a slip stitch. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work. You will not always turn your work after every round, but if you take a look at the written pattern on my blog, you will see that occasionally you are required to turn your work. So here we will turn our work and we're going to chain one. For round three, the first thing you're going to do is single crochet in the first stitch. Then in the next stitch, you are going to work one puff stitch. To make a puff stitch, you are going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop. You're going to do that in the same stitch for a total of four times. So that was one. Next, you will yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. That's two. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, that's three. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, and that's four. You will now have nine loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over once again and draw your yarn through all nine loops on your hook. So you will have one remaining you now have one puff stitch made. Next, you will single crochet in the next stitch. And then in the next stitch, work one puff stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that four times in the same stitch. Once you have nine loops on your hook, you will yarn over and pull your yarn through all the nine loops on your hook so that there is one remaining and your next puff stitch is made. So you are going to repeat that single crochet in the next stitch, puff stitch in the next, all the way around your work back to the beginning where you will join in the top of that first single crochet stitch with a slip stitch. At the end of round three, after your final puff stitch, you will join with a slip stitch in that first single crochet. And then you are once again going to turn your work so that the right side of your work is facing you. And now you can see these beautiful puff stitches that have come out. Once you have turned your work, you will chain one. And now we are going to work for round four, one half double crochet stitch in each stitch, so each single crochet and each puff stitch all the way around. So half double crochet in each puff stitch and each single crochet stitch all the way around. Once you come uh, back to your first half double crochet, you will join in the top with a slip stitch. At the end of round four, you will join with a slip stitch in the top of your first half double crochet. You will not turn, do not turn. For round five, you are going to begin by chaining three. Now a chain three in this pattern will always count as your first half double crochet stitch. So you will always treat it like a double crochet. Now you are going to work one double crochet stitch in the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So again, to find your third loop, you have this is the top of our stitches here. You're going to pull your work forward and you'll see that second horizontal bar there in behind. You will work your double crochet stitch by inserting your hook under that second horizontal bar and completing your stitch as you normally would. So you will work one 
double crochet stitch in the third loop of each stitch all the way around to the beginning. Once you come back to your first stitch, join in the top with a slip stitch. At the end of round five, you will join in the top of your chain three with a slip stitch. Do not turn your work. For round six, you're going to begin again by chaining three, which counts as your double crochet. Now in the next stitch, you are going to work a front post double crochet. To work your front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over you're going to insert your hook from the front to the back to the front around the post of the next double crochet. You will yarn over and complete your double crochet stitch as you normally would. That is your front post double crochet. Next, double crochet in the next stitch. And then you are going to repeat front post double crochet and then double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So to work your front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook from the front, around back of the stitch, and out through the front again, around the post of that stitch, yarn over and complete your double crochet stitch. And then double crochet in the top of the next. Front post double crochet in the next stitch. And double crochet in the next. So continue to repeat that once again all the way around your work and then join with a slip stitch in the top of your beginning chain three. At the end of round six, you will come to your beginning chain three. You're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that chain three, and you will not turn your work. For round seven, you are going to chain one, and you are going to half double crochet in that first stitch. And then you will work a front post half double crochet in the next stitch. So the next stitch is your um, front post double crochet stitch. So you're going to work your half uh, front post half double crochet stitch around the post. So insert from the front to the back to the front. Yarn over, drop a loop, complete your half double crochet stitch. And then in the next stitch, you're going to work a half double crochet in the top. You are going to repeat that all the way around your hat front post, half double crochet, half double crochet in the next stitch, front post, half double crochet, and half double crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around and then you'll join with a slip stitch back in your first half double crochet. At the end of round seven you will join in the first half double crochet with a slip stitch and do not turn your work. For round eight, you are going to chain one, and now we're going to be working in the back loop only once again. So we will be working uh, a single crochet stitch, working in the third loop all the way around. So to find that third loop, you're going to pull your work forward and look at the back and you're going to find those horizontal bars in behind your work. You'll insert your hook under that first horizontal bar and you will work one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. Always working in that third loop. And you will know that you're working in the third loop because when you look at your work you will see that the tops of those stitches are being pushed forward to give you that nice kind of knit look. So continue your single crochet stitches all the way around. At the end of round eight, you are going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first single crochet. Now for the next five rows, so or rounds, 
for rounds 9 through to 13, you are going to be repeating rounds 3 to 7. So round 3 is this puff stitch round right here, and you are going to complete it all the way up until the front post half double crochet round. So that is where your repeat uh, is going to end. It's about five rounds. Uh, if you need further clarification, uh, feel free to rewind this video or head back uh, to my blog at richtextcrochet.com where, where you will find the written video and that can be found in the, uh, the written pattern, sorry, and that can be found in the notes of this video. So complete your repeat, repeat rounds three till seven, and then meet me back here and we will work on our decrease rounds. Okay, so now you will have completed round 13, which was a repeat of round seven. And once you have finished that, you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that first half double crochet. And you are not going to turn. So now we are going to begin our decrease rounds. And to work a decrease, we'll be working half double crochet two together stitches. For the beginning of round 14, we're going to start by chaining one. And then we are going to work three half double crochets, one in each of the next three or the first three stitches, and we are going to do that in our third loop. So once again, pull your work forward, find your third loop in the back there, and you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. Now for your first decrease stitch, which will be a half double crochet, two together. So what that means is we're going to yarn over, we're going to insert our hook in the third loop of the next stitch, and we're going to draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over once again, insert your hook in the third loop of the next stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. You will now have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and draw through all five loops on your hook. That is your half double crochet two together. Now we're going to repeat. We're going to work one half double crochet in the third loop in each of the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then we are going to work a half double crochet two together. Yarn over, insert your hook in the third loop of the next stitch. Yarn over and drop a loop, three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in the third loop of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You will have five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. And then repeat. One half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next three stitches. and three, and then a half double crochet two together. So you are going to repeat this pattern, one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, followed by a half double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around your hat to the first stitch, where you will join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. And you will, at the end of this round, have a total of uh, 40 stitches. So at the end of round 14 we're joining with a slip stitch in that first half double crochet and we'll move on to round 15. In round 15 we are going to chain one. We are going to continue working in the third loop and we are going to begin by in the third loop working a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One and two. We will follow that by a half double crochet two together over the next two stitches, always in the third loop. Repeat that half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And 
and then a half double crochet two together. You are going to repeat that all the way around uh, your hat. When you come back to the beginning, you'll join with a slip stitch and you will have a total of 30 stitches. At the end of round 15, you will join with a slip stitch in your half double crochet and do not turn. We're going to continue working in the third loop for round 16. For round 16, we're going to half double crochet in the third loop of the first stitch and then we are going to work a half double crochet two together over the next two. Half double crochet in the next stitch. And then half double crochet two together. Half double crochet in the next stitch. and half double crochet two together. So you will repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 20 stitches. You will join with a slip stitch to the top of your first half double crochet. At the end of round 16, you will join with a slip stitch and you will now work the final round of your hat. For the final round of your hat, you are simply going to work your half double crochet decreases all the way around. So working in the third loop, yarn over, work a half double crochet two together over the next two stitches, and repeat that half double crochet over the next two stitches all the way around. At the end of this round, you will have 10 stitches you are going to fasten off your work, leaving a long tail. And then you are going to sew, using that long tail, the top of your hat closed. Once you have sewn the top of your hat closed, you uh, may leave it as is, if you'd rather. Or you may add something like a faux fur pom-pom which is the one that I have here, uh, or another pom-pom of your choosing. But that is your Rustic River Beanie. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Uh, please, once again, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I look forward to bringing you more free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Happy crocheting! Bye!